traders Sam Shakespeare coming to you live how's everyone doing today happy new year all right it's 2020 it's January 2nd it's Thursday and uh, it's our first official trading day of the new year how's everyone doing Dimitri welcome how are you sir hey Kevin I bet I bet all right hey Colm hey Jeffrey how's it going Simon's in the house I'm excited we're gonna we're gonna focus on consistency and we're gonna do it by focusing on a certain type of trade the trend trade we've been focusing on it the last few weeks I mean you know there's a lot of awesome trades you can do and it's good as I was saying uh, in last session that you have them in your arsenal for the times when the trends aren't working but when the trends are working that's that's where you want to be right now I love these clear roads guys so the one minute comes down and we get lower lows on the one minute I mean and then you combine that obviously with the pattern well the first thing is the pattern uh, and then the clear roads and then you get your lower highs and lower lows which we have here so I mean we just gotta really just wait for the next pullback of any size and a dynamic entry short and we can do it pound yen you know the first thing you notice is the clear roads right you, you can't deny this thing stand out I mean when you see nice long clear roads you see them on pound dollar too but you definitely can tell there's some stuff in the way but when you see nice clear roads I mean they stand out among all the other grids you know everything else is just congestion everywhere this is the equivalent of any heat map or heat index or anything else you see out there. What's strong, what's weak. You don't even need to worry about that. You see clear roads. That's telling you what's strong and weak. First, if you look at dollar yen, right, you see dollar yen's going a little lower for now. That means yen is the strongest, right, and pound is the weakest. So pound yen is really where you want to be. If pound dollar and dollar yen go down together, pound yen, that's our trade. And it looks like the better grid. All right, so if we get anywhere near our one-minute boxes, we get a dynamic entry. I think we got to try it. Um, it could pull back a little bit. We are near this 15-minute L7. Very easily could pull back a little bit, but that's the nature of a one-minute trend. But if it's making lower lows and lower highs, we're going to make pips most of the time. In fact, the one-minute trend of all the setups is doing the absolute best. There we go, though. I think we got to do it. All right. I'm in, guys. I'm short. We're not under. Obviously, we're not below the lows in a trend. You're, you're not usually going to pick it up below the lows. That feels a little stretched out. But we've made higher highs and higher lows. Um, so I went ahead and, and took a shot. If it pulls back up, you know, I've got a 15 pip stop on all the trade room trades. So at the most, it'll be a minus 15. I might, If it goes over this high here, I might just manually break out of it. Because if we're starting to get our pullback, remember, let's be cautious. You know, we have this L7 here. So if this goes higher, let's just assume it's going all the way to the five five minute box. Okay, if it goes higher, then this high. It'll be like the swing stop setting. If you took this this on a swing stop, that means this previous little swing high, that right there would be the stop loss. Okay, and I think it gives you two pips of a break. So it's got to break it by two pips. What we'd like to see is our sidecars. Our sidecars for pound yen again, dollar yen and pound dollar. So both of these down is what we want to see. Right, because pound dollar down shows pound weakness. All right, so pound weakness helps these. So if pound dollar goes down, that can only help pound yen. Also, yen strength, right? Yen strength pushes dollar yen down. Yen strength will also push pound yen down. So the sidecars, they both we want to see those moving in the same direction as our trade. Now, if by chance this pulls back beyond our little stop loss, you know, a losing trade is not the end of the world. In fact, it's part of what trading is. So we have to accept we're going to have losing trades. You can see that there's losing trades on the trade log right now. And you just bounce back and you fight back. You just continue to take high probability trades. Yes, okay, so we're in this pound yen. I love that we're under this L7 now. We've held under it. I love that. I feel like this whole thing was just a retest of that L7. We got this, I think it's an L4. On the hour in the way there, that's the L3 there, the pink one. L4 is a little blue. So that's, we got to get under that. That's something. All right, once we do, I mean, 04, I think right around there, you have to take it because you're getting close to a big figure there. So that's going to be some resistance altogether. But first is first. We got to get lower lows. And we haven't done that yet. If we can't get lower lows, that's going to be a little bit of a bummer because we've had plus five. 
Okay, Dow looks up. The equity markets look up. That's, you know, that's actually more of a a bias for the yen crosses to move higher, not lower. So that is a little bit of a divergence here on what we've got, what we're looking at right now. All right, let's see if we can get another another push down here. Hey, Kelly. Good morning. All right, so equity markets look strong. All right, so that's that's going to be tough for the yen crosses to go down with such a strong. Um, oh, what's going on? All right, are we going to get in lower lows or should I just take it here, guys? We're at the lows as must have been. I don't know what's going on. Let's close it. All right, so it wasn't the bang out trade we thought we were going to get, but I'll take a positive number and then and then rethink. Because honestly, I don't love being against the equity markets. All right, so three pips, all right? Hey, you know, it was nice, like I said, waking up to the Supreme Combo short. The only reason this only gave us five on the Supreme Combo is because I have a trailing stop on it, uh, a four pip trailing stop once it hits like plus uh, eight, I think. I think it got up to plus almost 10. But the VTA took this tame trade and made 20 on it, and really it went on for much further. Uh, now, I wouldn't mind going over to, to pound dollar, though, I got to say, because pound versus dollar has nothing to do with yen, and pound is clearly weak clearly weak let's let's put it on let's put it here i'm gonna put it here on pound dollar guys i just shorted pound dollar you know we're making the lower lows and lower highs we got clear roads we got our pattern all right now i just waited for the dynamic entry and and we're in now we would have still been a pound yen obviously maybe some of you guys are still in jeffrey is in both all right so jeffrey's still in from around probably i guess 24 and now I'm in this one uh, at about 72. I like the clear roads. And I like the dynamic entry. I feel like this thing's about to break. Pound yen's super clear and pound dollar's about to be super clear under uh, under this 15 minute L7 of pound. All right, we're going to get a candle, one minute candle close here. And we're going to be in lower lows and lower lows with clear roads, guys. That's what you want. <clears throat> There we go. Man, pound yen looking good too. Look at that. All right, Dwayne's still in pound yen. Okay. Here we go. That was a nice little jump there. Plus 11, we're at a slow car. Let's go though, but below this, I mean, we got clear. We're clear now down to 50 pretty much. All right, let me take 10. I'll take double digits. Maybe I should have scaled out. I hope you guys did get on that. Very good. Uh, that's a good question, Kelly. Yeah, Jeffrey took 13 and 16. Very good. You got seven. Okay, Kelly got seven. I mean, you could probably hang on, but we can get back in on the next entry, guys. The next one is valid. We're in lower lows. We got clear rows. The next entry is another good one. So we can get in on the next pullback again and a dynamic entry. Oh, look at this. It's already trying to do a dynamic. Should we get it this close? Is it, I think we're too far out. I, I do want to do it. I think it could go. Uh, we should have just done it. You don't have to be right at your boxes. I've said this a lot. You just need to be close. In this case, you know, we were pretty far out, but it's it's doing it from here all right I didn't get in that one we'll let it come up a little higher I guess when I say guys the clear roads the lower lows this is a short so in a short situation you get your pattern in other words the head of the snakes leading the one minute box out in front of all the other boxes and you have kind of a staircase pattern in other words the five minute boxes are the next highest then the 15 minute boxes and then the 60 minute boxes if they're in like a staircase pattern that's the best all right then you just wait for a pullback and get a dynamic entry and you go and then you try to get that lower low. If you have a problem getting that lower low and you're bouncing at the low, maybe take half off or or take the trade off. And then, you know, maybe it breaks through or be patient. This is broken through. We should have been in this. You got to at least wait for it to drop down to big figure and maybe we try a snapback, which is always risky. It's counter trend. Or we wait for the pullback and another dynamic entry. All right, that's our choices right now. Make sure to all the new guys, everyone new, I know we had a couple 
fresh signups and those that have you know been on for a little bit maybe haven't gotten around to it yet watch the videos in there definitely power of 20 I mean it does it for you but it's good to know why you're using 20 pips a day I mean that's really good thing to watch check your levels stack your clues watch that watch the first master class so you know how to set up and use the the VTA as far as setting up your settings you know and watch trading videos watch the trend trade videos if you do that guys and the gen trade video is five minutes of video eight minute video I think there's maybe a couple I think there's one that has a it's called good trend trade discussion and it's maybe 30 minutes 23 minutes something like that it's it's worth it guys it's so worth it to, just to spend the time all right so it looks like we're holding up a little bit around the lows here on the on the sterling pairs so woke up uh, the supreme combo gave us five pips when it came to the session then um, excuse me and then pulled a quick three on pound yen and a 10 spot on pound dollar not bad I'll only need maybe about five more pips to get our 20 but these clear roads look nice I mean if we get a dynamic entry on pound dollar you almost have to try it but see when you wait for the dynamic entry you see how you wait and you let the market come up and you don't get in too early I mean sometimes you do get in too early I mean you just can't you know the market gives you a dynamic entry and then it fakes you out and it goes the other way that's that happens that's what a higher low is start to look out if you get the higher high now after that then try to get out of the trade but that's a nice looking I mean you almost have to do it if it breaks below this candle let me zoom I mean, look at that one minute chart. There's that one worked, the one minute trend. That's worked. This has all worked. You know, we're not quite there yet. All right, so this one didn't get broken below, and now we're working on a bull candle here. All right, Comb took plus 10 on pound yen. Very good. Okay, let's look at pound dollar. Man, it's almost going too fast. <laughs> oh, man, it's going to be in the breakout territory before. All right, so I can't get in here right there at the low. I feel like that's a recipe for disaster. If it breaks under the low, that's a different story. That's a breakout entry. That's kind of that's better than doing it right before it breaks the low. I mean, you're really stretched out if you if it goes into the lows, but at least you know that it's it's in new territory and it's most likely to continue. Look at this. It's called a breakout entry. There's a setting on the VTA where it waits to do the one minute until the low is broken, and then it enters, and that does well as also. So it's a style that you can actually enter once the low is broken, and it's still a high probability trade. But if it pulls back on you, be prepared to get stopped out, and really that trend may not have even been over. Here's a candle close coming up. All right, there's still some support. Pound yen did not break yet. It's pushing though. It looks like it's really trying to break this low. All right, look, they're both trying here. Here we go. I'm gonna sell pound dollar. All right, there we go. Come on. Probably could have done pound yen too. Pound yen's actually got the clear rose. I don't love that white zone there, to be honest with you, on pound dollar. It's mostly pound weakness. It's driving this. So as long as pound stays weak. You know, it would be nice for dollar yen to maybe move up. Man, we should have stayed in pound yen from the beginning. We originally got in that at 24, and it's that big figure. That's a plus 24. I do want pound yen to keep going down, though. Pound yen goes down and dollar yen goes up. That's a perfect storm for pound dollar. So I'd like to see pound yen keep pressing forward to the downside, and then dollar yen kind of bounce up. would be nice. That would push us in lower lows on. We do have this white zone. Here we go. Come on. It'd be nice if we get down to that three column roadblock. That's what I've got my eyes set on right here. That'd be a sweet little move. That would be almost 20 pips, about 15 pips. Pound yen doing just fine. Pound dollar not exactly, but it's it's still moving down, so we're still doing pretty good. Especially if pound yen accelerates. Pound yen's at some support here. Um, so if you're still in pound yen for any reason, you got to get out here. Um, Dwayne just took a f another five. Good deal. Colm took another five on pound dollar. Very good. We're up seven on this. You know, the thing is, is pound yen's at support. So if that's that could slow this down. 
come on. There we go. New low. Plus eight. Come on now. Keep going. Man, we really should have hung onto that pound. Yeah, and that was a nice one. All right, I'll take seven. I'm not going to let it go against us too much. Hey, we hit our growth target. All right. Yeah, so this account just basically started on, what, uh, December 5th? First trade on December 6th, and it's already up over 12.5%.